Hello, guys today we will create a nebula using the flip solver and some basic noise. Take a sphere node. Set the primitive type to polygon and change the frequency to 10. Now go to the object level. From the particle fluids, select emit particle fluid. Select our sphere and press enter. Delete particle underscore fluid interior node. Go to the particle fluid node and delete all the nodes expect the DOP import. Dive inside the source node. Turn off shell thickness. We also need to turn off this oversampling parameter. Turn on dual rest attributes. To turn off oversampling, go inside the DOP network. Go to the receding tab and turn off the oversample at boundaries. Also, turn off recede particles. Set the particle separation to 0.005. Please set this according to your PC specification. Select Flip Solver. Go to the volume motion and reduce the box size to 20 along all axis. Now go the particle motion. Under Behavior tab turn on Add ID Attribute and Age Particle. This gonna slow down the sim but we need both the attribute. We will use the age attribute to color the nebula. Turn on Vorticity and set the Vorticity scale to 1000. This can be used in shading, but for this tutorial, I have not used this attribute. You can play with the shader if you have more knowledge about shader. Now take a pop pop node. We are going to simply add anti-alias noise and turbulence noise to the current position. Dive inside the VOP. Take an anti-alias noise. Promote these parameters by pressing the middle mouse button and selecting Promote Parameter. Take an Add node. Add the noise data to the current position. In the signature select 3D input 3D noise. For now I'm gonna set the particle separation to 0.0075. Let's preview for few frames. Now we need to add some turbulence noise to it. Take a turbulence noise. Set the signature to 3D noise. Now in the noise type select the original Perlin noise. Again promote these parameters. Keep these parameters value default. You can play with the parameters. Take a pop force node. Set the amplitude to 4. Let's preview this. Take a color node. 
set the color type to ramp from the attribute. In the attribute write age. Set the min range to minus 0.1 and max range to 0.15. Set the ramp color as per your artistic vision. Now take attribute wrangle. Here we are going to create a density attribute. Set the density value to 5000. Now take attribute randomize. In the attribute name select vscale. Turn on seed attribute from the option tab. In the distribution select custom ramp. Turn on fit values. Set the min value to 0.0001 and max value to 0.002. Before making it to volume, make sure to reduce the viewport texture to a low level. In the attributes select density and CD. Set the voxel size to 0.0075. These are the color reference you can set the color to something like this. Take a volume visualization node. Set the density scale to 10. In the diffuse field write CD. Our basic nebula is ready. You can use multiple time shifts and freeze different frames like this. Take a transform node and let do some transformation and rotation to vary from the original one. Cool. You can use Pyro Shader Classic to render this. Set the density scale to 0.4. Take an environment light. I had used HDRI from Polyheaven. Increase the light intensity to 100 and light exposure to 1.54. This is my render output I did some comp also. Thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial. You can support me on Patreon, I will keep uploading this kind of tutorial.